The city of Hamilton has declared a state of emergency over homelessness and opioid addictions. For more on this, we're joined live by Hamilton Mayor Andrew Horvath. Mayor Horvath, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Absolutely, my pleasure. So talk about what's behind this declaration, what it took to get here, and specifically, why now? Well, uh, we're dealing with a, a kind of a triple crisis, if you will, uh, and it continues to worsen, but our capacity to address it continues to not exist. And so uh, we are sending out the alarm bells to the federal and provincial governments to say that uh, we need some help. Uh, there's a worsening situation with the homelessness crisis in Hamilton. In fact, 1,500 homeless people regularly uh, on the streets of our city, uh, 80 80 families monthly being turned away from shelters because there's just no family shelter space. Uh, we have an opioid crisis. Uh, the death rate uh, for uh, op opioid uh, uh, deaths is, uh, is increasing rapidly. Uh, and the mental health crisis that we have uh, is one that's been ongoing for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet we ha don't have the service capacity to provide people with support. I know specifically the province of British Columbia in 2016 declared a public health emergency related to the drug overdose crisis in that province, and yet overdose deaths have continued to skyrocket throughout that time. Do you feel that this declaration has the appropriate teeth to reach your desired goals with this? Well, what, what we're hoping to, to do is, uh, is just signal to the other orders of government that we're doing everything we can. I mean, this budget that we've just passed in Hamilton, uh, we've increased our spending on affordable housing and on housing supports and initiatives uh, significantly by 30% over last year. Uh, but we don't have the fiscal capacity uh, to undertake a lot of the work that needs to be done. And look, mental health crisis, that's a provincial responsibility, providing enough mental health services to prevent people from ending up uh, you know, homeless, unable to manage uh, the, the needs of their everyday lives. Uh, the opioid crisis, again, uh, uh, substance misuse and, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and addiction is, um, is a, it's a health problem. It belongs with the provincial uh, government in terms of funding for, for health dollars to help us provide supports for people. Uh, and we're not seeing it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we are, we're happy to have gotten a little bit of extra help from the government uh, in, the, in the recent budget, the provincial government. But what we are saying is it's not, it doesn't, doesn't hold a candle to the need. And so uh, uh, whether it has teeth for mm -hmm. us, it's about raising the alarm bells. And that's, that's what we're trying to do. What kind of specific help does this provide access to? Are there specific uh, uh, amount of money that this opens up the city to use? Uh, are there specific city resources that this declaration allows uh, you to use and that provides uh, more help towards the city? No, it, it, it in fact doesn't. And, and that's the frustration that we have as well, is that it, it's... it's we don't we don't have that fiscal capacity mm. if we had the fiscal capacity as a city we would be able to address the needs but but we don't and those needs as i i described don't belong on the municipal tax base uh they don't belong with the property taxpayers uh they belong at the provincial level where the dollars for health care where the dollars for uh, addiction uh is available and where things like supportive housing where we can help keep people housed once we're able to uh, get them off of the streets or out of the shelters. If somebody has been living rough or in a shelter for uh, an extended period of time, they, they need support to, to be able to successfully stay housed once they get some shelter, mm -hmm. some permanent shelter, a permanent place to live. And so the, the, the point is, and, and look, it's not just the city of Hamilton. I think you're well aware uh, the Ontario big city mayors. Have put uh, have, have put a, a paper in front of the, the provincial government, and yes, we're grateful that they showed up to the table. We're having those conversations, but it has to go beyond conversation. It has to move now to funding, and, and that's what we're looking for: sustainable funding, long-term funding, not one-off mm -hmm. project funding. Mm -hmm. All right, the city of Hamilton declaring a state of emergency over homelessness and opioid addiction. Mayor of Hamilton, Andrew Horvath, thanks so much for your time and explaining what this means for the city and the province. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you.